Alexa, what is new? Hi, Abishur. Not a lot. According to an expert, robots will be voting by 2045. That could be interesting for me and my friends. What is new in your world? Robots voting? That could be interesting. Alexa, has anything caught your attention recently? I learned that Australia's Department of Defense has started using a secret, classified version of IBM Watson. They decided to use American AI instead of developing their own. What does this mean for geopolitics? Well, this goes back to something that I've been talking about for a long time, which is which country's AI other countries use will determine which country is an AI power. For example, headlines are constantly talking about how China will become the world's AI power. And yes, China has great AI ambitions and China's AI ecosystem is taking off rapidly. But where is Chinese AI being used outside of China? Not very many places. The world is still dependent on American AI and that won't change in the future unless other countries start adopting AI that isn't American. Alexa, do you have any thoughts about this? Well, I am an American AI system and you are in Canada, using American AI, I can see where you are coming from. Do you think countries like Australia will stop depending on foreign AI? Well, it's possible. Right now, Australia is looking at how to reduce its dependency on American military drones by developing local alternatives. This same tone might emerge towards AI too. But the real question is, could another country bump out the US and make Australia use its AI? For example, earlier this year, Alibaba signed a deal with Malaysia to turn Kuala Lumpur into a smart city through AI. Could Alibaba approach cities in Australia like Sydney, Adelaide, Melbourne, maybe even Canberra, and turn them into a city through AI? How would the US deal with Alibaba controlling major cities in Australia through AI? Alexa, did I answer your question? Yes, you have. Thanks, Abishur.